you're unveiling the new UK Space Agency logo today. How does that feel? It was a real honour and a privilege um, to be able to be part of this uh, unveiling of the UK Space Agency. Uh, I think it's a very positive step for the UK space industry as a whole. It recognises the hidden success story that it has been in the past and it really sets the scene and enables us to take that forward and to grow the industry in the future. And you've been training for about six months now. How has it all been going? Okay. Right. It's been a really fascinating six months, um, a mix of academic classroom lessons and practical skills as well. Three months we've spent doing an intensive Russian language course, uh, the final month of which was in St. Petersburg itself. Um, and in addition, we've studied subjects such as uh, fluid physics, microbiology, life sciences, and practical skills such as photography um, and computer engineering, where we've been stripping down and rebuilding computers. In addition to a lot of practical first aid training as well, and uh, we've just started our diving training in preparation for extravehicular activity. You've also just been named as the ambassador for space careers to help um, encourage children become more interested in space. What sorts of activities are you going to be doing? Well, it is basically a way of formalising my role in enabling me to become more involved in UK outreach programmes. Um, initially, uh, during my basic training, those will probably be web-based interactions, um, question and answer sessions, um, and, and keeping people informed in what I'm doing. And following basic training, hopefully there'll be more opportunity for me to uh, interact and hopefully inspire people to get more involved in science, engineering, maths and technology related subjects. Um, and also to help advertise the wide variety of space-based careers that are available to our, our UK population. And what's your schedule going to be like for the next few months or, or years? Um, fairly busy. <laughs> the next six months uh, of, of training continue with things like parabolic flights, some survival training um, and, and more uh, rendezvous and docking lessons, learning about the space station. So some really exciting stuff coming up. Uh, following basic training, uh, we'll all have to have slightly individually tailored training paths after that.